What is up guys, again, Not the Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we are taking a look at the patch notes for October 20th. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on with Node War Conquest Wars that we've got some dev notes we're going to cover, but not a whole lot outside of that. So let's go ahead and jump on in, take a look. First up, we've got this Node War revamp. We're going to go through the devs note. They do have uh, some charts and things for uh, changes that were, that were uh, applied to this patch. So if you want to check that out, there is a link in the description down below. But I'm going to go ahead and read through this and then just touch on a couple of points. Uh, Node War starting up again with a fresh new take. This time around, there are two major points for Node Wars. First, we had a strategic choice to participating in Node Wars that'll enable various forms of tactics to be used. The next point is to increase in rewards for adventurers that are hungry for glory on the battlefield. The rules of Node Wars were changed to be closer to a war game style where bigger guilds with a lot of members can gradually expand out for bigger gains. However, this also means that smaller guilds with less members can find strategic openings to try and grab nodes as well. We're hoping this will somewhat reduce the imbalance in Node War between bigger and smaller guilds. The maximum number of participants for each node was removed as the entire territory is part of Node War. Not to mention the rewards for successfully occupying a node have increased not only to be increased in taxes collectible, but also by the addition of rare items that can be purchased from the Node War shop NPCs. Additionally, the rewards for Masters of guilds that are victorious in both node war and conquest war were significantly improved this was to reward the guild masters that keep working hard for their guilds and to give them loot that matches their supremacy as a guild master of a guild that has gloriously risen victorious on the battlefield of the hyperbole here this is quite a big change for node wars and may come across a bit daunting due to being so different from before thus we'll be paying close attention to the four weeks of preseason and gather as much feedback from our adventures as possible so we ask for your interest and participation we're also planning to reveal the new node of comma sylvia for this coming node pre Node War preseason. We're putting the final touches on Comma Sylvia Node War at the moment, and we look forward to sharing more information as it becomes available soon. They're going to touch on conquest and things. Uh, there's another dev note coming up a little bit later. Um, again, they do have some breakdowns for specific changes. Something I wanted to mention, and this was actually mentioned on Global Labs probably near a year ago, eight months to a year ago, and was kind of looking forward to it then with some new crystal options that come along with uh, some items you purchase from an NPC after winning. Uh, a node war so you've got a couple things here available this are special attack evasion crystals that can essentially be upgraded so gin bond and one special evasion crystals they um, respectively add 150 or 30 hp along with the crystal as it is normally uh, but to me the ones that stand out a bit more are going to be these glorious crystal of gallantry Akrat or alakis depending on which setup you go with these are obtained by using 10 essence of gallantry and then making the crystal like you normally would along with that ingredient to create these. They are the same as the Awakening Weapon Crystals, except that they also have attack casting speed 1%, so you could potentially have another 2% attack or casting speed added on. If you don't think that that's a lot, turn off your Alchemy Stone and then see the impact that that makes. Granted, your Alchemy Stone is likely more than 2%, but that's kind of a big deal. That attack casting speed is actually really, really big, both PvP and PvE, depending on what setup you plan on going with. I'd imagine most are running Olicus for this. Uh, considering your node warring to get it. They don't mention if these are actually available to sell on the central marketplace, and I haven't logged in myself to try it, so I can't actually tell you. If they do, I would imagine so, but if not, um, these are definitely going to be very highly sought after and uh, probably a lot of marking going on to try and obtain them moving forward. There are These are some of the items they were talking about for guild masters that are available to temporary weapons and things that can be rented, accessories as well, um, just so that those are at least pointed out there moving on to events there's actually not a ton of stuff happening we've got new adventure playtime challenges uh have restarted essentially so being a new player coming in you're going to get some extra login rewards for that and then the new and returning adventure login rewards are reset as well uh, so you can pick those up and there is a pearl abyss x ccp steam publisher sale even if you're not on steam and you have a lower version of game the the basic version and you want to upgrade to the legendary package or uh, novice package from the to the adventure or whatever it is that they call it you can do that at discounted rates uh, for it it's a pretty good deal if you've done it previously you can't again um, but a lot of people were upgrading their packages uh, that they had before even if you had pre-ordered the game you could do this and you get really good value on some pearls and costumes and a whole bunch of really helpful items so maybe take a look at that if you haven't already new and improvements uh, with character changes there actually aren't any just a couple of um, issue fixes glitchy fix things like that uh, item updates uh, nothing to really speak home of here they of course are continuing to work on the shoe uh, edits for costumes and separating those out content updates added the guaranteed pen enhancement category to the progression pass they tweaked the look of the progression pass uh, to be quite a bit cleaner uh, pointing out some uh, rewards that weren't previously on there 
and then made a few modifications, but nothing huge there. We've got the reset for the chat group rankings. Again, uh, we see these periodically as they are listed. Monsters, we did have some changes to a couple of things here. Fogans and some of the dungeon bosses. So it's Sicka's Cradle. Uh, it was changed so that Stella Magia, which binds adventurers, will not activate under circum certain circumstances and change the effects to be displayed even if the following options are activated during the second phase of the fight of Ataraxian Vomachia. That's the remove far away effects and remove others effects. And then a little edit to Swamp. Swamp Fogan habitat here um, reduced the HP of travel travel by 50% and reduced the probability of loot dropping from travel and the Fogan warriors. It increased the drop rate of loot from all monsters in the Swamp Fogan habitat, excluding those ones mentioned. So a little bit of adjustment there. Sounds like they're going to be easier to kill, but not drop uh, the same quality of loot as they did in the past. So now let's take a look at the Conquest Ward note that we have uh, added as well. The third Conquest War preseason will begin on October 23rd after this update. Prior to starting the third Conquest War preseason, we adjusted the structure to reduce issues where the incorrect AP DP limit would be applied, sometimes in certain er territories and areas. We'd like to express our apologies for the inconveniences faced by adventurers who have been actively participating in Node and Conquest Wars during the Conquest War preseason due to this issue. In return, we'll make our best efforts in coming up with more enjoyable content for Node and Conquest Wars. As the third Conquest War preseason begins, the stat limits for accuracy and damage reduction will be adjusted in the Medea and Valencia Conquest Wars. As mentioned in the developer's commentary last time, we increase the stat limits to match the progression of our adventures. We'd like to express our gratitude for those of you who continue showing interest and love for our Conquest War content during the Conquest War preseason. We'll also work hard to continue providing high-quality content for the Conquest Wars, and thank you. And we have the listed amounts there. Again, if you want to check out the charts, link is in the description. Accuracy, lim accuracy limit from before 708, now 790. Uh, DR limit 317 is up to 326, um, and that is for Medea. And in Valencia, we see uh, accuracy 716 to 726. Uh, DR limit 339 up to 347, so on and so forth from there. A uh, few tweaks. Let's go ahead and jump on over and check out the Pearl Shop for this week. And first up, we have a Halloween Premium 2 Plus 2 Pack. It's 6,800 pearls. You get two premium outfits plus two more premium outfits. Pretty straightforward, and I think it's pretty continued we will just forever and always see these premium outfits uh, on sale in the Pearl Shop. Makes you wonder when it's no longer going to be considered a sale and just reduce the prices by 50%. Classic 2 plus 2 pack. It is exactly the same except classic packs that are available. Uh, we've got our yearly Ramhorn, which is back. And we've also got the Gravekeeper that is available. I think that one just came, came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. 2,200 pearls if you want to pick up those. We've got Ghost Bride available. That outfit set is 2,200. And so is the Fairy Jackie available in our Halloween theme going on this week. Wizard Ghost Fee is on sale for 30% off. We've got a daily thank you pack available once per day. It's 44 pearls only. This is going to get you four Elians tier, four Cron Stones, as well as four Combat and Skill XP scrolls. Then there's the thank you pack level two for it. That is daily. Same 44 uh, pearls for this one. Four Artisan Memories, uh, four Valk's Cry, four Memory Fragments, and two Item Collection Increase Scrolls. This is not bad uh, at all if you pick this one up. Um, each week. So you've got two weeks of this um, here alone. So just the artisans, if you use those at all, you've got 14 by four here. It's 56 artisans at 44 pearls. It's 14. So we got 616 for 44 pearls as well as getting 28 loot scrolls. And then just kind of the other stuff is bonus. Pretty good value overall in general, if you're paying attention to that. If not, you might want it just for the loot scrolls alone. October Enhancement Pack at 1190 Pearls, 20 Artisans, 100 Crons there, 20 Memory Fragments, 10 Pure Magical Blackstone, and 220 Stacks. We've got the Finest Horse Pack available, it's 1435 Pearls. It's got 5 Mount Skill Change Coupons, 100 Cron Stones, Unbridled Celerity Draft, 3 Mount XP Scrolls, and then choose 10, you'll get 10 of your chosen uh, Dream Horse material to be added as well. Mount All Skill Training Coupon is on sale for 900 Pearls. We've got the Halloween Starter Pack for 1120 Pearls. It's got a 15 day value pack, 16 inventory expansion, a character slot expansion, a bonus of 10 item scrolls, item drop scrolls, 5 blessed message scrolls, and a 50% outfit discount coupon. Camp and a Keeper is going to be a maid along with the campsite. These are available for 47, 40 pearl, 45 pearls bundled together. Custom buff box, so you can kind of choose your own adventure on that. It's 1650 pearls, and you're going to choose between a Blessing of Commasil for 20 days or Book of Old Moon for the same length of time. Then you'll also choose between 10 item drop scrolls, 5 300% XP scrolls, or 2 life skill mastery scrolls, and then choose one of a 7-day Book of Old Moon or Blessing Commasil or Enhancement Help Kit 2. We've got a pearl box that's available on sale here. It's a 1,000, one plus one here. So you get 1,000 
uh, pearls and you'll get a bonus of another 1,000 pearls, essentially getting double for the same price there. The weekly outfit sale this week is the Cephia Nova outfit. It's available for 2720 pearls. And then we see a graphical breakdown of what was mentioned in the notes there of the shoes getting changed up for the uh, Ranger Sylvia uh, outfit this week along with the which one that matches it so there you have it for the patch notes and pearl shot for this week let me know what you guys think about the stuff going on in the comments down below if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live and if you'd like to catch me playing live there's a link to my twitch page in the description down below you can jump on over there drop a follow so you get notifications for that as well with that said that's going to be it for this one I want to thank everybody for watching and i will see you next time hey,